Hello everybody, Bart here at Mastercrafts RV Center and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough review of our 2024 Shasta 526BH. It's the i5 edition. This one we've had upgraded. It's got a 15,000 BTU uh, AC unit. It's wired with a second AC. It's got roadside assistance. Um, it is a bunkhouse model, no slide. Comes in at about 4,500 pounds. I'm gonna walk you in here. First thing I wanna show you is the bedroom. Now I like that they've added this accordion door. I think that's a lot nicer than the pocket doors. Bedroom, you do have good space around the bed. You know, there's always kind of that drawback. A trailer's only so wide. You got the uh, bed itself, lift up, storage underneath the bed. We're going to spin up and around here, get you into the main room, jackknife sofa. We got a big sink. We got a cooktop. Now, I'm not a fan of the ovens because I don't think there's a lot of space in them. I would prefer to have the storage space. Bring you along a little toaster oven or something. You can cook outside with it anyway. You got a booth. I do like that we're no longer doing that vinyl looks like pleather look i like the i like the the fabric um i'm gonna open the blinds here and get a little bit more light in i like that too we have a furion fridge it's really big i'm pretty amazed at how big these fridges have gone in the last three four years we have storage underneath the bunks two double bunks um, right here would be the Bluetooth speaker that comes with it, but we take them out because otherwise they tend to disappear. The, oh, one big thing too, the air conditioner is ducted. That's, that's really, really nice. Get in here. You got a sink and everything in the bathroom. You got the shower, uh, with a curtain. Now the curtain, uh can be swapped out for a, a rolling door. Uh, that's an aftermarket item. And you got to come out in the bathroom. I just wanted to show you some more of the storage space right next to the fridge there. Furion microwave. Pretty decent size. Um, oh, cut out underneath the sofa for storage a lot easier than trying to pick it up and put stuff in there so this is a nice dual axle starter camper or for somebody who just doesn't whoop bumped the wall there with my camera uh or just for somebody who doesn't want to spend a lot of money or buy a big camper needs a couple of bunks and stuff this is a great deal uh i'm i'm really impressed with what shasta was able to uh, put together so come on down, see it. Master Crafts RV Center has a spare tire. Uh, it does have a manual jack, but that can be upgraded with power jack. Uh, otherwise, it's just a nice new camper.